everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make Copycat Panda Express Honey Walnut Shrimp with chow mein. So let's get started with the video. We're going to begin by making the candied walnuts. In a saucepan over medium heat, add one cup of water and a half a cup of sugar. Bring the water to a boil and then add a half a cup of walnuts. Next, boil the walnuts for 2 minutes. After 2 minutes, transfer your candied walnuts onto a baking sheet lined with parchment paper. When you're finished, set your candied walnuts to the side. Next, we're going to make the sauce. In a bowl, add a quarter cup of Kewpie mayo, two tablespoons of honey, one tablespoon of sweetened condensed milk, and a half a tablespoon of lemon juice. Then mix everything together until well combined. When you're finished, set your sauce to the side. Next, peel, devein, and clean one pound of shrimp. When you're finished, place the shrimp in a bowl. Then season them with salt and pepper. When you're finished, set the shrimp to the side. Next, in a large bowl, mix together one cup of flour, one teaspoon of seasoned salt, a half a teaspoon of white pepper, a half a teaspoon of garlic powder, and a half a teaspoon of onion powder. Then mix everything together until well combined. Next, add 1 egg and 12 ounces of beer or carbonated water. Then mix everything together until well combined. If your batter is too thick, add more beer. If it's too loose, add more flour. When you're finished, add your shrimp. Mix your shrimp in until all the shrimp are coated in the batter. It should look like this when you're finished. Now you can begin frying your shrimp. In a pot or deep fryer, heat vegetable oil up to around 350 degrees. When the oil is hot, fry your shrimp for around 3-5 to five minutes or until crispy and golden brown. Once the shrimp have finished cooking, take them out and place them on a wire rack. Repeat this process with the rest of your shrimp.
When you have finished frying all of your shrimp, place them in a bowl. Next, pour the sauce you made before over the shrimp and then toss them in the sauce until they are well coated. Now just toss in your candied walnuts and you will be all finished making your honey walnut shrimp. Now that we've finished making the honey walnut shrimp, we're going to move on and make the chow mein. We're going to begin by making the sauce for the chow mein. In a small bowl, add 2 tablespoons of light soy sauce, 1 tablespoon of dark soy sauce, 1 tablespoon of oyster sauce, 1 tablespoon of sugar, and 1 fourth teaspoon of pepper. Mix everything together until well combined, and then set your sauce to the side. Fill a pot with water and then add salt. Bring the water to a boil and then add chow mein noodles or thin spaghetti noodles. Boil your noodles for however long it says to on the packet. Next, in a pan over medium heat, add 2 tablespoons of sesame oil. Then add 2 tablespoons of minced garlic, half a sliced onion, 1 cup of sliced green cabbage, and 1 cup of sliced celery. Then saute for about 3-4 to four minutes. Once the veggies have finished cooking, add your noodles and the sauce you made before. Next, mix everything together and then cook for another 2-3 minutes on medium-high heat. When you finish making your chow mein, you can go ahead and plate everything up. And this is the finished result! This was so good! The shrimp were crispy, flavorful, and well seasoned, and the chow mein was delicious and easy to make. I think this might have tasted even better than Panda Express. Alright, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Everything I used in this video will be down in the description below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye!